neurotic as fuck. Um, this girl ain't no fucking Aborigine, man. Um, Aborigines uh, you know, <laughs> fucking build a fucking sidetrack the shit. Got Bill, no- Bill. Bill's trying though. Yes, yeah, so it's just. Uh, well, no, because oh, I I didn't know which one she's talking that's to. That's all right. I think he's didn't the, make any sense. I think he was the ambassador to Australia yeah, that they she, were talking to. Yeah. Right, and she said that it was great to see that African American employment and yada yada. It's like, bitch, I, is he African American? This guy that's running shit in Australia, or is he Aboriginal? Let's do Mobile. It could man. be a Sudanese. Mobile local news, man. The fucking Let's ADD be- just works like that, so. Mobile. Very much. Well, new from us tonight for the third time, a suspect in Mobile will not be getting out of jail on bond under Anaya's law. Now, this fairly new law was created to keep violent offenders behind bars. And tonight, a judge agreeing that testimony revealed in an Anaya's law hearing against John McCarroll Jr., it's enough to keep him locked up until trial. Fox News' Shelby Myers has the story for us. And Shelby, prosecutors say McCarroll is wrapped up in two murder for hires and mistaken identity shootings in two different Mobile nightclubs. Yeah, that's right, Byron. Mobile police testifying today that John McCarroll Jr. wasn't the trigger man in the paparazzi club shooting that injured four or the bank nightlife club fatal shooting, but he was the man calling the shots. I ain't do that they just need somebody to blame. I ain't open fire, shoot no gun. Man. They just need somebody to blame. Part of that statement from John McHero. Mass if I had that killer. hairline, I'd be mad too. Serial killers um, in your midst. Serial killers in the Sun community, man. Running rampant. No news about this. Nothing on the national level. Only on the local level. If you ain't fucking watching the Mobile News at fucking 6 o'clock, you ain't going to know shit about this. The shots. I ain't do that man. They just need somebody to blame. I ain't open fire and shoot no gun, man. They just need somebody to blame. Part of that statement from John McHero Jr. on his way to Metro months ago might be right, according to today's testimony. In the Nanaya's Law hearing, evidence presented by Mobile Police and prosecutors say McCarroll wasn't the trigger man, but he was behind two shootings at two Mobile clubs. Witnesses say multiple shots were fired inside. Police say McCarroll and two others offered to pay Reginald Fluker Fluker $20,000 to kill a man. According to testimony, Fluker told police he fired four to five times at the guy he thought was the target, but it turned out to be an innocent man named Derek Shavers. (laughs) Professionalism, that's all I got to say. $20,000 for him to kill the wrong dude and then snitch. $20,000 $20,000 to a hitman for him to kill the wrong guy and then snitch. Talk it's like a day. This is this a fucking Dave Chappelle sketch. <laughs> you pay 20,000 smackaroos in a re- we are damn near in a recession for to your hitman to hit the wrong guy and then tell on you. My God, and then he killed this guy. This guy fucking had nothing to fucking do with. He just at the fucking club. And he's some sun man's pumping bullets into him. He don't know what the fuck is going on. Five times at the guy he thought was the target, but it turned out to be an innocent man named Derek Shavers. And then in November at Paparazzi in downtown Mobile, a detective testified McCarroll gestured at Darius Rouser to kill another rival. But instead, four innocent victims were hit by bullets in the packed club. Jesus Christ! On a gesture. So then you get you you uh, you pay this guy. I think I think as he said, um, murder for hire. So you get this guy to kill somebody else, and he shoots four innocent people. Oh for five. <laughs> oh for five. Salute. Jesus Christ. This is the stand in a nutshell. This is the stand in a nutshell. Life doesn't matter. 
white people that black lives matter shit the fact that y'all got those signs still in your fucking yard in places like tacoma and in seattle and shit like that in portland and in fucking dc glider still got in their shops they still got black lives matter signs in their shops black lives do not matter to the people who's been saying that shit black people don't give a fuck about black lives told police he fired four to five times at the guy he thought was the target but it turned out to be an innocent man named Derek shavers and then in november at paparazzi in downtown mobile a detective testified mccarroll gestured at darius rouser to kill another rival but instead four innocent victims were hit by bullets in the packed club including a woman who was shot in the neck and paralyzed judge zogby ultimately granted including a woman who was shot in the neck and paralyzed from so the neck down paralyzed one woman you done killed this fucking brother and you still haven't get hit none of the ops This is why these guys need to be under the jail. And this is why all you um, blackity black pro blacks that's trying to make the laws easier for these guys and criminal justice and shorter sentences and bail reform and all this bullshit. All of y'all should burn in fucking hell. Okay. Uh, so Anaya Blanchard was You're going to get into kidnapped. that next. Okay. I'm going to get to that. I'm, I'm going to play that next. And four innocent victims were hit by bullets in the packed club, including a woman who was shot in the neck and paralyzed. Judge Zogby ultimately granting Anaya's law in this case to keep McCarroll in jail until his trial. Mobile County District Attorney Keith Blackwood sending us this statement, saying in part, quote, the ruling today shows that Anaya's law is working by locking up violent accused offenders who serve as a threat to our citizens until their trial. McCarroll's attorney says the new law isn't fair to his client. The hearing that we just had was full of hearsay and speculation. Under Anaya's law, the rules of evidence do not apply. And therefore, what you heard in there would be shut down or wouldn't be admitted in an actual trial. So if it wasn't for Anaya's law, homeboy would be back on the streets right now. Now, Darius Rouser, who's the accused trigger man at Paparazzi, is also charged with shooting two people at the Beltline Walmart in December. Jesus Christ. Never ends. He'd be back on the streets planning another failed hit. Jesus. Yo, yo, man, we're going to get him this time. We're going to get him into Walmart real top. Keep it 100. Oh, my God. Darius Rouser, who's the accused trigger man at Paparazzi, is also charged with shooting two people at the Beltline Walmart in December. Plus, he's accused of killing a man at a casino in Mississippi. He's already being held without bond in Alabama under Anaya's law. In the studio and tonight, if it wasn't for Anaya's law, he would be out on bond. Let's see who Anaya is, man. So he uh, got like seven bodies, maybe something like that. And black Probably people want this shit. This is the criminal justice they talking about. That's what they talking about. This shit. Let these motherfuckers back out. This is crazy. Anaya, man. Let's learn about Anaya, man. Shout out to Anaya, man. This week's 48 Hours investigates the killing of a top-ranked UFC fighter's stepdaughter after her disappearance in 2019. College student Anaya Blanchard was last seen at an Alabama gas station, and her alleged killer was a man with a long arrest record out on bond. <laughs> a long arrest record out on bond. That's what, oh, failed that's, liver, looks like. That's what killed this. This girl was beautiful. Um... Had her whole life ahead of her. 